All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Baha Shem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh, meaning He exists. Baha Shem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He is the deliverer, He saves. Baha Shem, in the name. Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles. An elders of great millstone who teach one rule who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of the own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathim, listen and listen and learn and sincerity and truth and in silence. Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwathim meaning sisters. Shalom meaning peace be unto you. All right, we'll get right into it. All right, we see this uh, podcast. Uh, the 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 common sense show. <clears throat> Salakia with uh, Dave Hodge and this is from uh, two days ago the spirit was on me to uh, bring it out uh, two days ago but the spirit had other things come out first but uh, we're going to watch matter of fact let me open the scripture right and the title of his uh you can see the title here, Goldman Sachs, 300 million jobs soon to be lost. You can be framed for any crime. Wake up America, right in the, the, in the title, the, the second half of the title, you can be framed for any crime. Wake up America. That's what we're going to go into. Right, but I want to open with a scripture. Psalms 94. Psalm 94. Verse 16, it reads. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers, right? And who's, who's rising up and denouncing this wicked, sinful kingdom? The prophets, the elect, Lord willing, were of that number, right? Denouncing the degeneracy, denouncing the abominations, denouncing the wickedness, right? Through these epistles, on the highways and hedges, right? And the men of the Lord, their faces are being seen, <clears throat> right? They're not hiding. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity, right? The elect, right? Are prophesying the downfall of this place, prophesying and condemning alphabet boy lifestyle, right? Sorcery, witchcraft, right? Prophesying the destruction of America the Great, Babylon the Great, which will happen by thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles in tandem with the laser beams from the chariots, the chariots with the world even because you will foes, the ships, right? Yahweh and the angels are going to come and melt this place, right? But I wanted to, uh, we'll listen to a piece of this, right? Because a coming persecution is coming. Right, a persecution is coming, man. And uh, this this individual goes into the AI and what, how they will use AI. Let's just listen. Go in the description box. AI and your jobs. Goldman Sachs is saying three hundred million jobs are going to disappear. That may be the most truthful thing that Goldman Sachs has ever said publicly. 300 million jobs are going to disappear. And it could happen overnight. Now, this is not an American phenomenon, because I don't believe there are 300 million jobs in America. This is a global phenomenon, but that will just be phase one. There's another danger with this, too. If you do YouTube videos, if you write for anybody, whether it's for pleasure or for profit, AI has been shown they can clone who you are and write stuff in your name. You've seen that, right? You've seen the demonstrations, I'm sure. A lot of them appeared right here on this platform on YouTube. Now, there's another aspect of this that you need to be concerned about. Say that you have a view that's dangerous to a group. Doesn't matter the group. This could be political, it could be uh, corporate, financial, whatever it would be, just personal. <laughs> AI 
gives unscrupulous people the ability to manufacture a videotaped crime that the person accused did not commit. Total AI fraud. Also, AI can publish something that would damage reputation and cause the cancel culture forces to take over and eliminate someone from any kind of media. We have seen examples of that technology that could be put into play. And then there's a new movie coming out, and the name just escapes me. We right, and, the, and and listen, the demonization is coming, man. You know? Listen, we were at camp yesterday, and all kind of fucking motherfuckers constantly trying to take pictures, man. Constantly. A couple more bites tried to take pictures yesterday, man, at camp. Right, and this is a this is a weekly occurrence. Just trying to randomly come up and take pictures, right? The like men ain't hiding; they're online. Video pistols, they're on the hedges, right? And this AI thing, right? These elites, right? Scriptures say, uh, <clears throat> let's get it. Isaiah fourteen. So lucky, Isaiah thirteen. These elites know what's up, man, and they're pissed off. Right, and one of the ways they're going to demonize the truth is like this man said on the end of the podcast, man, uh, fabricating by use of AI, uh, 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 defamation of 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 the prophets, slander of the prophets. Isaiah thirteen verse two: Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Lift ye up a banner. The banner is these scriptures, right? The high mountain being these uh, these 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 governments, right? Exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand, right? Curse them out, point the finger, tell them they're going into slavery. That they may go into the gates of the nobles, the nobles, Esau's elites, Amalek and his and, and his and his and his cohorts, right? But scripture says. Yahweh I said, the world hateth me. Let's get that real quick. John 7. Verse 7. And it reads, The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth. All right, and this is red letter, Yahweh I speaking. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Right, because Yahweh, when Yahweh is on the scene, he was testifying against the world, man. Right, against the wickedness. Right, we go to this word testify all the time. Right? Let's get it for edification's sake. Testify. Salakia. Right, this place is wicked, and the Lord's coming to judge this place. Right? John 7. The word testify. In the Greek. Strong's G three one four zero. Strong's G thirty one forty. Martureo. Martureo. Right to be a witness, to bear witness. Right when Yahweh was on the scene, he was bearing witness, being a witness against the Roman Empire. I.e., to affirm that one has seen or heard or experienced something. Or that he knows it because taught by divine revelation or inspiration. To give testimony. To utter honorable testimony. Give a good report. Conjure. Implore in the strongs. To be a witness. Testify. Charge. Give evidence. Bear record. Testimony. Witness. Right. And the prophets. The men of the Lord. Right. Are testifying against this place. This wicked Abominable place. Isaiah 29. Right, and these elites, they're going to make a move. But listen, for, for listen, the, the, the elect men are waiting on the Lord. Let's get that real quick. Right, the elect men ain't going to do nothing. A matter of fact, Romans. Romans. Is it three? Or is it six? 
lag. Bear with me. I'm looking for, let me see if I can find it. Second Corinthians six. Second Corinthians six, verse three, giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not blamed. Right. So the let men ain't gonna be out here, toting guns, rising up, uh, revolting, uh, pushing back against the system. Right. Right, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. The, the let men of the Lord, the prophets, ain't gonna be out here uh, uh, pushing back against uh, against Esau's kingdom, Esau's kingdom, man. Right, the let men are waiting on the Lord. Hebrews ten verse thirty. So when 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 these wicked, diabolical madmen rise up with fabrication to demonize, right? It's all gonna be uh uh, uh lies. Hebrews 10 verse 30, for we know him that said, vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, right? We're waiting on the Lord. The Lord said, vengeance belongeth unto him. He will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Let's get that one in Lamentations, right? The Lord, going, the Lord going, going, is going to repay. Lamentations 3 verse 26, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Right? We're waiting. We're quietly waiting, man. We're prophesying. We're living a simple life. And we're waiting on the Lord, man. Right? Because these, uh, these elites are going to roll, man. The persecution is coming. Right? Some going to fold. Right? So I'm going to turn into agents. Right? Isaiah 29. Verse 20. And it reads. For the terrible one. The terrible one being Esau. Is brought to naught. And the scorner is consumed. And all that watch for iniquity are cut off. Right? The Lord is going to cut you off. Right? And then it's hardcore slavery for you Edomites. That make a man an offender for a word. Right. Make a man an offender for a word. Turn a man into offender for the word that's coming out of his mouth, man. Right. For this truth. These elites are going to make are going to demonize this truth. Th these, elite, these elites are going to arraign some of the men of the Lord, man. Bring them before judges. We'll get that next, Lord willing. And lay a sneer. Right. Sneer being trapped. For him that reproveth in the gate. Right. The prophets are reproving in the gate, the highways, the hedges, the chief places, the concourse. And turn aside the just for not. Right, these, these diabolical. Right, and they, they, they are going to roll. Scripture says, we're reading it. Luke 6, verse 22. Right, a demonization of the truth is coming. And this truth, this truth is out. And these elites, they can't sleep. Right? They can't sleep. Luke 6, verse 22. Red letter, our Lord said this. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Right? Cast out your name as evil. Right? Right? Public smear campaigns. CP24. Uh, all major news networks, faces of the prophets, uh, accused of doing this and accused of doing that, right? The public outcry, outcry going to be hate. Right, what's the scripture say? Uh, St. John hated me first. in John bear with me bear with 
bear with me. Let's see if I can find it. John 15, verse 18. Come on. And it reads, If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Right. And we're coming in that time, man. Right? And that's red letter. Our Lord said that. Right? Right? And the world, the world hates Yahweh Shai. Right? Two thirds of the people, they hate Yahweh Shai. They caught up in Jebus. Right? Let's close. Luke 21. Verse 12. Red letter. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons. Right? Arraignments. Trumped up charges, false charges, right? AI fabricated. Being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, right? Being brought before kings and rulers, before before judges, before before uh, 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 prosecutors, district attorneys. Crown attorneys. Verse 13. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts. Hearts and minds. Not to meditate before what you shall answer. Right. In that day Lord willing. Right. If, if that is our lot. To be brought before judges. Right. The, the Lord's telling you. Don't, don't think on what it is you're going to say. Don't fret. Why? Verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Right? The Holy Spirit going to speak. Right? The Lord going to speak through, through, through you. Right? The Lord going to put the Spirit on his men to denounce, stand up in front of a judge and say, y'all go suck your blood clot self. Right? This place going to be, this place going to be destroyed. That's the Spirit the Lord is going to put on his, on, on his men. Right. So with that, I pray you're edified. Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashem Yahashai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the teacher and the rule who taught me this truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect.